listening to the JJJJ A Day podcast. We're getting ready to start to the five, four, three, two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the JJJ podcast. It's your boy JJ Day in the building. This is season three, episode one of the show. Want to give a special shout out to everybody who's been showing me love thus far on seasons one and two of the podcast. It's love. Appreciate it. It's honor. Appreciate it. Make sure to follow your boy on the gram at Joe the Great. That's J O E T H E G R number eight, as well as my podcast page at j.ade.pod. And you already know how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. I have two special guests with me today. We have one lady and we have one gentleman. So we're going to have the lady introduce herself first, then we're going to have the gentleman do so subsequently. So, lady, what's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Tiggy, and I'm from, I'm like from Florida, but I've okay. lived, you know, in the DC area for all a right, while. All right, all so. right. Represent DC more, so. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Tiggy's first time on the show, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. I'm but excited. Yeah, we're going to have some fun today. And we have a gentleman that you guys have heard his, his voice quite quite a few times on season one and season two. So he's no he's no newcomer to the show. But what's your name? Where are you from? For those who don't know you, man. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Eni. I go by Eni Meanie. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, oh. at Eni Meanie. That's I-N-I-M-E-A-N-I-E-E. Two E's for excellent. You know what I'm Yes, Eenie. sir. Two E's for emphasis. Boy, you know the vibe. Oh, yeah, there you go. All That's right. So, as he said, I've been here, on here before, but now y'all know what I look like and whatnot. So, if you try and catch this fade. You say you try and catch this fade. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Saying? I'm All in right. PG County, so just come find me. <laughs> PG people always trying fraud like they got that. They, they want that smoke. They don't want it, though. You got any social media to shout out as well before we go any further, though? I do, I do. All right, shout it out, shout it out, man. J-A-L-L-O-H. And I also have a podcast as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was on an episode of it. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram as well. Yes, sir. Shout out, shout out that one too, though. Like you. Thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm on I'm on that show. I was on an episode of it. Ladies and gentlemen, go check that out. Right now, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, it was it was a very very interesting conversation. But ladies and gentlemen, speaking of interesting conversations, today we have a very very interesting topic. I had a poll on it last week on my Instagram that I just shouted out, ladies and gentlemen, and that topic is on body positivity. Specifically, as of late, people on social media have been throwing around the term body positivity heavily. And I wanted to know from you guys first, since we had Tiggy introduce herself first, I wanted to give Eni the opportunity to answer this question first. How has body positivity been presented to you through social media as of late? All right. I, I can elaborate it. if need be. Yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and do the elaboration. Okay, so, so the elaborated question is... Just so they is, can understand. The elaborated so. question is, based on what you see, what do you believe is society's definition of body positivity? All right. Let's speak on it. Let me put some disclaimers out here, okay? <laughs> yeah, my man got the disclaimers early. Dis- disclaimer number one. All right. All right. It's not a lot that people are going to say that can convince me otherwise of my opinion. Okay. Number two, please listen to what I'm about to say. All right. Because I don't want people to come attack me later for the shit I'm about to say right now. All right. My man is giving disclaimers because <laughs> he knows he's about to wild out. <laughs> All, right. All, right, so All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. For real. I think that body positivity, just like many other movements, okay. started in a positive light, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. to, to, you know, basically take away, in layman's terms, like bullying and right. shame and right. things like that. Now, today, I think it has become an excuse. Excuse for what, exactly? For people to just do whatever and look however. Let's talk about it. And that's cool. Live your truth. If you, you know what I'm saying, you try and be whatever, if you think that look good to you, whatever weight, whatever... Appearance, size, how you want to live, great. But that do not mean that it's okay. That do not mean that it's healthy. That does not mean that other people ha- are required to to not have an opinion on that or or to to accept that you know they can accept that it exists, okay. but they don't have to accept it as proper for themselves or in their opinion of what the world should be like. Okay. So for me, I think that it started out as a good thing, just like most most stuff, but then it kind of had just, you know, trickled down to this excuse of, oh, you know, don't worry about it. You did this. You did that. It's okay. You still beautiful, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you are, but, you know. All right. So to you, pretty much, before we move on to Tiggy, so pretty much what you're saying is body positivity started as something positive, but now you feel like it's an excuse for people to push the agenda of not looking your best pretty much no it's just an it's an excuse to put in work 
an excuse to put in work. Okay. Got you. Okay. So what do you think, young lady? What do you think body positivity is? What is that to you? I mean, I think it started off as like a positive movement, and I still think that it's something that should be embraced as something positive. Okay. When you said um, how it's kind of been turned into something where it's been promoting, you know, more so like unhealthy lifestyle, like where exactly did that shift yeah. happen? Because at least for me, like what I've been seeing, yeah, there are certain instances here and there, but I think overall, like the overall sentiment, it's still pretty positive. Let's I mean, it's you. positive in, in like the in the general definition of the term positivity. It's positive. Yeah, you're uplifting people in general. But that's like anything can technically be positive. Like let's say let's say someone shot somebody outside. That's a negative thing. That's right? very extreme. But, but I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm using an extreme. Example. No, OK, OK, OK. Let's talk about I'm it. just saying, let's say somebody shot somebody outside. That's a negative thing. But if I came up to you and I was like, oh, it's okay, like, you'll be okay, like, don't worry about it, da 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 da, I'm giving that person positive encouragement. Okay. So, so that's what I'm saying. It's, it's not the fact that I don't think that, you know, it shouldn't be or that, you know, there aren't positive messages that are going along with it. I just don't like how it has come to a place where it is now okay to, to just, do whatever or look however which is i mean like i but said but i think that's the whole concept of body positivity right the thing, the, so I, I get what you're saying and that's why i, I try to let's discuss it. man because everybody on social media has a different opinion <laughs> yeah, about this. I, don't, I, I try to reference it as like you can do that you okay. know what i'm saying like okay. like for instance let's say joe today right. decided hey i'm gonna cut off all my hair i'm gonna cut off my beard i'm gonna put tats on my my like underneath my eyes and I'm gonna do. I'm like, bro, you could do that. Live your truth, but don't be mad if I come one day and be like, bro, you look dumb. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't, who are you to say yeah, that though? That's what exactly. That's what I was about to say too. Yeah. Because what? I, again, let's I feel discuss. Like, because let's I'm discuss. a human being. Let's I have discuss. the right to say and feel whatever I want to feel. And I'm not like, saying that you that's don't. Freedom and I'm not saying that you let's, don't. Let's hear this point but real quick. Let's hear this point. Is that how are, you? are your feelings and your sentiments supposed to dictate the way he's supposed to move about? He exactly. should be able to live his truth. I said that earlier. But you said, yeah, live he should truth. be able to live his truth. But so your point is that I can live my truth, but mm -hmm. you are allowed to have your own say in it. I can have my opinion. Right. Now, whether that changes your life, right. mm -hmm. that's on you. Okay. Right. And, then, and then another thing is that I use Joe as a good example for me because Joe is my friend. So as his friend, I'm going to say something. You know what I'm saying? But what if I like my weight? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if what if I like the way I'm? Okay, okay, so okay, okay, okay. Shaving, shaving my head and doing the tattoos. But let's let's switch back to the the topic at hand, right? So in the body positive movement, right? You know, everything is about you know, I guess being comfortable in your own skin is kind of like the you know the baseline of it in terms of you know what it's defined as, right? And okay, so let's say I don't want a six pack. You know what I'm saying? Nobody says you had to have a six pack. But you're saying that if somebody decides not to live a healthy lifestyle, you have reason to make your claims and they have to accept I think it for if you are. care about a person's life in general and they're not living a healthy lifestyle then you have very much reason to be like hey i noticed that you're not living a healthy lifestyle okay what do you think though tiki so do you think that the body positive movement is another excuse to live an unhealthy lifestyle this is actually the poll last week ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. but do you think that the body positive movement is just a way to promote an unhealthy lifestyle or do you feel like this is a legitimate self-love movement. I think and I'm, I'm going to ask you this too. I think it's definitely a, like a legitimate self-love movement. But then, okay. then again, like when you're thinking about these type of movements, you also have to factor in the role of social media and how people feel so entitled to their own opinions right. and how they feel as if their opinion stands and like that's kind of how it should be the standard for whatever movement. But honestly, like I feel as if to its core, it's a very positive movement. And I think that when people think of body positivity, I think people automatically assume that, you know, you're talking about fat girls. Right. When, and I think that you should also encompass other people as well because it's not just about them. It may it may have started about them, I'm not too sure. Right. But I think that you should also you know consider other people who may be affected by it as well. So okay, and what do you and what do you think, bro? So you think it's a legitimate self love movement, or do you think it's just an excuse for people to be unhealthy? Like I said before, I think that it started as a legitimate self love movement. Okay, I think that it is still a self love movement, but I think that it has turned into um, an excuse for some individuals to just. Could you give me an example? Nah. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah. Let's discuss. Like, Let's who's discuss. like the first yeah. person that comes to mind when you think of like a body positive the trend person going that other way? Hmm. 
Let's discuss, bro. Let's like discuss. Name Drop names. You already gave the disclaimer <laughs> at the beginning, bro. So we ready to really get. No, that's get, wild. Nah, you're, nah, no, let's, no, let's discuss. No, no, okay. Or any, like, okay. public figure Famous people, yeah, like famous that. people, famous people. Not, public not nah, famous, nah, let's, let's discuss, bro. I mean, even still, I'm okay, I guess you brought up weight, for instance. Let's okay. Let's say weight, okay. Okay. So one of the things that we see on Twitter, because you get a lot of these controversial right. things from Twitter, right? Right, so right. One of the things that we see on Twitter a lot is, um, let's say there's an individual who's very overweight. Right. Okay. Visibly, visibly overweight. And then um, she posts a picture, you know, self love. Why gotta be a she? Continue, she continue. I'm just I'm just being I'm just being problematic. Continue. Yeah, but usually <laughs> it'd be like that on Twitter. I actually wanna ask that too, like, but no <laughs> complete I your mean, point, like, yeah, yeah, complete it, complete it. I, I just think it'd be like that on, from what I've noticed okay. on my Twitter. Okay. But anyway, uh, so let's say she or he posts a picture of them in like lingerie, some blah 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 blah. Okay. Right? Now, there'll be the, the people who are saying, like, oh, this is self-love, blah, 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 but then there'll be the other people, because it's Twitter, right. who, who will start shaming them and be like, oh, you fat, this and that, next thing, da, 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 right, right, right. Then comes, and this is the issue that, like, this is the, the biggest part that makes it an issue. The individuals who respond that say, oh, weight is not um, a good judgment of this person's health. That's when it starts becoming a problem, because it's like, yo... While what you're saying may be true, because right. there's a bunch of individuals who are very skinny mm -hmm. or skin, skinny who have health issues. Bad health, right. Which is true. But it has been scientifically proven. Okay. Scientifically proven. I need the facts. That, but. that weight. What? No, I, I said I want those facts. You said it was scientifically proven, but we're, oh, not, we're not doing that right Obesity now. Obesity yeah. leads to many complications. I mean, no, that's, that's, a, that's a fact, though, but I want you to complete that's what your point. I'm saying. It, has, it has been proven to be a fact. That high weight, like, and this is and and this is one thing I think people are kind of be dumb about. It's not just high weight, high weight, and very low weight. Both have been proven to show health yeah. issues. Okay. So when you start saying like, oh, this is this that and next thing, and now people are coming online like, oh, you can't do that because she's just living in her own skin and da 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 da, and like, how can you say that she's unhealthy? You don't know that da 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 da. Be like, bro, we fucking see it. Okay. Okay. Until that. Until that point. Until that point, though, right? So I think that's interesting that you brought that up, especially in terms of being somebody who's larger and posting these revealing clothing pictures, right? I think one thing that was really, really prominent and popular since you were too afraid to uh, name the person specifically was Lizzo. Lizzo had a situation where yeah. she uh, wore this Now Lizzo fit. might not sponsor you. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Lizzo, man, it's, it's all love, man. I was man. trying to help you out. Nah, you and I, it's, all, it's all good. <laughs> hey, it's all good, bro. You mean, hey, you can't, you can't. We can't we can't hold you back on it. No, no, it's all it's all good. No, nah, okay, so the Lizzo point, right? I want to hear I want to hear your uh, your perspective perspective too, uh, Tiggy, as a woman, first of all. But um, specifically, the Lizzo situation was a situation where she wore this outfit with her butt out and a Los Angeles Lakers game and everything like that. And obviously, you know, social media social media got right. really I would definitely consider that more inappropriate than anything. But yeah. but, but, but especially but, at a beloved Lakers game. But I wanted to I wanted to get a woman's perspective specifically because I think a lot of men were saying, you know what I'm saying, ew, that's disgusting, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of women's counter argument was if this was Rihanna, Rihanna or Kim yeah. Kardashian, everybody would have been glorifying it. So I wanted to kind of get your opinion on that. So do people actually care about her health or her size or were they just using her being fat as another reason to like ridicule her for it? Um, well, when it comes to the Lizzo situation, I am personally not even a fan of her. So I think that Why not? <laughs> I'm bias. just not a fan of her. Uh, I really just so, 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 there's, some bias. there's some bias in there. Let's discuss though. Let's um, discuss. But I do feel as if if it were the thing is like she was just like that was just uncalled for regardless of who it was. Like it could have right. been like Kim K or Rihanna. Right. But if it were them, it still would have been not as bad if it if it were Lizzo. You okay. know? Right. And then in terms of and then I think this is also like where it gets tricky as well because then there's this whole conversation about having opinions about a black woman's body. And I think right. that also gets into another And we're going to have a point about that well. too. Continue, yeah. So I think the whole situation was very controversial, but at the end of the day, she was just like, that was like not called for. She shouldn't have They're done wrong. it. They're wrong, yeah, there and I agree. around, like, it's not even about whether or not she's promoting self-love or anything like right. that. It's just about being appropriate in a certain setting, you know? Okay, and you brought up an interesting point too, though. 
Um, I wanted to know from you, do you guys think it varies based on weight and kind of how it's received? So like Lizzo, right? Lizzo, you know, wears revealing clothing. This is not the first time she's had her butt out on, you know, social media before and stuff like that. But as opposed to somebody like Adele, for instance, right? Adele is, you know, also a larger woman. And I feel like a lot of people don't. a lot of weight, by the way. No, now, you know what I'm saying? But even then, everybody was glorifying her losing that weight. But how do we know that, you know what I'm saying, that was a healthy weight loss in the first place? But my question specifically about that is, do you guys think there's a certain level of, like, I guess, racial weight that goes into the idea of body positivity? Because I feel like people don't really clown Adele for being a big girl, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to Lizzo. But Adele as a big girl did not do the dumb shit that Lizzo did. But, okay, so that's what I'm saying, though. Because it's So you think it was because... Adele wore these, you know, gowns and things like that, or you think people are coming at Lizzo because of how she carries herself? Because Lizzo's fucking annoying. No, it's it's because how she carries herself. But, like but, but Adele, do you think do you think it has anything with her to do with her being black though, or no, you think like no, even no, 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 in that I situation, like that was no. A, yeah, I think that 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 uh, those two people are. Okay. They're just so different. And they're perceived so differently, too, when it comes yeah. to social media and Let's pop discuss. culture Let's in discuss. general. Let's discuss. Let's discuss. I just think Adele isn't annoying. I, well, yeah, Adele literally. Her social media presence is practically like what zero. Not there, yeah. Right. She, yeah. She she just comes and puts music and you know, she she uh dresses to what she thinks is appropriate. Right. And which is actually previous when she was like a, a heavy set lady. Right. She, or heavier set lady, whatever. Uh like I was, said, mind you, you don't know that the, the the weight she lost was healthy weight, bro. I know, but you, all was, you, know, you was talking about her as a heavy set and right, right, right. Lizzo as a heavy set. Correct, individual. correct. And I'm saying that what Adele wore was actually Kind of conservative, right? Compared to what Lizzo is wearing, right? But then Lizzo, which is she, like we've seen skinny shorties wear dumb shit all the time, right? But Lizzo do dumb shit. It's not like she just wear dumb. So you shit. think it's her she personality that makes her like hateable in, in in conjunction with her size? I wouldn't say she's hateable. I would just say she did something retarded, which was damn. My man out here using that word. She, Sheesh, she cancel went, culture. He he he, he dropped his at name earlier, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you can come. Say nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> but continue, she, continue. She did something that lacked mental reasoning, which okay. was to to go to a Lakers game and do that, especially on the big screen. Okay, like, she could have wore that and just chill. You okay. know, been a good fan and just chilled, and people would have said, people would have talked about her outfit anyway because she's famous. Right. But she took it to the next bar, which was to twerk while the camera was on her on the jumbo. Trial. Oh, she twerked as well. Oh, I, you I ain't know. You no, know the story? No, 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 no. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't making this a Lizzo episode though. <laughs> anyway, nah, nah. I just wanted to get you guys' opinion on that though. Yeah. No. Nah, I don't know. Say? Sometimes I just feel a little conflicted as well because, like, I know previously I was talking about how we feel as if we have the right to be saying things about how people move and right. stuff like that. We do. No, not, we not, don't. Not fin- we finish. Do. Let, let her finish this thought real quick. I don't think we do. I think social right. media has given us, has made us think we have that permission, but we don't. Okay. Okay. Can 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 you speak on why, why you believe we we don't have that right? Right. So. I mean, there really isn't much to explain behind it. Honestly, I just okay. feel as mm-hmm. if, like, you don't necessarily have a, an importance in terms of like how I should be moving like my day to day, just based off how you feel, projecting how you feel onto me just because you feel like it. Okay, but we do because I think you're just everything. saying something just to say something, and that, I get it, and that's, that's, and that's the culture, and that's the culture that like we're in now. So that's why when I'm like talking about Lizzo, it's like okay, well, I'm kind of like contradicting myself as well. Right. I'm no, I'm confused. See this, and this, and this is uh, one of the reasons why I put my ad out there. So if people want to catch this fake, because this is this let's is the talk thing about it. Let's talk say. about it. You said that we don't have the right to, you know. Throw, basically throw our wishes and feelings onto other onto people. people. Yep. And you have the freedom to, of course. But that's the thing, though. Your freedom is the right to do that. And not only do we do that in social media and mm-hmm. things like that, and social media is relatively new, but this is a general concept that has right. been occurring in the world since before we were born. It's part of life that individuals are going to state their opinion to you on whatever and you do you have to be able to have the self assurance to do what you want to do so one of my pro fights told me one time he was like yo whatever you decide to do as especially as it concerns the concerns the fraternity he said if you going to do it you got to stand for it mm-hmm. for yourself you can't call other people to be like oh you know come back me up blah blah blah, blah. no if you going to do it 
you got to be assured in yourself and stand for it for yourself. Other people are always going to say stuff. Of course, of course. So that's the thing, though. You have, like, for instance, if I came in here today and you thought my shirt was dumb, you had all freedom to be like, yo, your shirt but that's, is dumb. But that's completely and different, though. Be like, that's completely different. Okay, you can't compare okay, that to okay. people's it's weight. It's the same thing. And if I, she came in here and was like, yo, I hate bald-headed niggas, and you catch, bald as hell, I would have been like, right. okay. Yeah, let's and of catch, course. Let's catch your point. And I get that. But, but I think that what I'm referring to is more so talking about this movement as a whole. Like again, right. like we're trying, we're detracting away from the positivity of the reason of, of this uh, of the social media movement or the social movement in itself. Okay. And that's where I'm coming from. Anyone can have their own opinion and say whatever they want to say because again, people talk either way. About yeah. every. Yeah, but when exactly. it comes to being able to kind of like detract away from the actual essence of a movement, I think that's where it becomes a problem. Okay. And to that point, though, right? So kind of just like segueing that point as well about, I guess, people voicing their opinions on things that they might not necessarily have the right to do. I'm kind of wanted to know from you guys, do you guys feel like this body positivity movement is directed more towards women than men? Or would you kind of say it's equal? Or what, yes. in, which, in which way does it... I want to hear you from... I want to hear the women's perspective because I feel like me and a homie talk about this all the time. Not all the time, but like yeah. a good amount. But no, I, wanna, I think for I sure it's, it's more so directed at... And I want to I know why you think that is, too. It's directed at... Um, at more so for women because, again, constantly women's bodies are always going to be a topic of a conversation. Why do you think that is, though? Like, why do you think women's bodies I think that's just where our culture and our society is set up. Like, it's just just, a given, you know? I think that's just the way it's been set up. And I think this was birthed out of a movement to empower women to love themselves with whatever body shape they have and also the changes that come along with it as well. And when it comes to men, you know, I would hope that more men would kind of be part of the conversation or the movement either as an ally or as someone who's also going through that journey as well. But at the same time, too, I think that the majority of the messaging behind the movement is more so for women. And again, I think more women are also more open to talking about these issues when it comes to their body than men are. Okay. What do you think about that, bro? Um, I agree with what she said. Uh, I think that it's more for the women and uh, to answer the question of why, uh, because idiot men made that standard. Um, but it is, it is what we have to deal with at this point of time. Um, but um, I do think that, again, because it's all about social media pretty much, I do think that there is definitely a double standard in it because if men started talking about it, they will get shunned. They will get ridiculed. They'll shunned like, in what way, though? So like, like they'll be like, "Oh, it's not as bad." Like heavier men? No. Whomever. And shunned by more men or more women? By women. Like if, if a man came on on social media, yeah. yeah let's get the scenario. Like, oh, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Let's let's say he's tried to talk about how he feels like his weight isn't adequate or whatever. Again, there'll be the people who agree. Support him, right. And then there'll be, right. And then there'll also be the people who don't. But like when you start talking to these people, like like for real, you start asking them like, oh, like I'm heavy set and I feel this, 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 this. They'll be like, you're a dude, shut up. You don't you don't have to deal with the type of stuff that we have. And I feel like that's so interesting that you made that point too, because I feel like I'll, I'll even go on and say that some males use their heaviness as a way, like as a... You know what I'm saying? You know, you, everybody know a nigga like, like, you know, Big Mike or Big This or Big That. You know what I'm saying? Like, they use it as a way to, like, level themselves up. Think about, like, they had Fat, to Fat Joe or, like, DJ Khaled or oh, bro, Rick people, Ross. Like, niggas are mm-hmm. actually, like, capitalizing off of being and a big dude. You know what I'm saying? Well, it, it's the, well, again, you keep using people that lost weight. I mean, hey, hey, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm saying, I'll, but I'm saying, hey, I, I'm not tracking who lost weight. I'm not, I'm not. Count, oh, oh, he lost weight today. Nah, I'm just saying people that I no, generally, I, in my mind, have thought of as heavier people. You I know get what, what you're saying, saying. and that, and that's and that, I think that goes to the point of, that they had to accept themselves. So, like for instance, um, I think that a lot of people don't realize that men are shunned too, and like men, mm-hmm. men definitely deal with body blah, blah, blah body positivity issues <laughs> right mm-hmm. like like a lot of my close friends know me and they know that like i dislike the way that my body looks most of the time so i go to the gym all the time to change that because that so i accept how i look i know how i look you know what i'm saying i'm like okay i'm not ugly and blah 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 whatever um but i don't like what i'm seeing how do i change this i go to the gym you feel me I make the most of what I have, I accept my situation, and then I, if I want to see change, I change it. But a lot of guys don't 
talk about that stuff. I mean, even though we get shunned and picked on, like dudes get picked on for being chubby, bird chest dudes, uh, all this stuff. Like we get shamed all the time. You know what I'm saying? But what do they tell us to do? Go fix it. They'd be like, go to the gym. Do you feel like do you feel like do you feel like women have that same ability or like do people give them that same type of energy? So like so like Eni was saying, they tell men go fix it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is it that same way for women in terms of like here's a solution to the problem that you're stating? So let's say a girl feels like okay, like he was saying, oh I feel kind of fat, right? You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like do is that something women do amongst themselves? Like yo man, tell your homegirl, yo go check in, like go go run. You know what I'm saying? Yes and no. I think there's. The way it's delivered is a little differently. Oh, let's Um, talk about it. I think that when it comes to women, it's more so towards, like, the bigger women who are like, well, you know, just go to the gym and just do that and this or whatever, clean up your diet and things like that. But I don't think it's as... I think it's delivered in a more, like, nurturing way. Right. And, again, I think this also places the conversation in terms of like the stigma that there is when it comes to being able to approach men who are dealing with issues versus approaching women who are dealing with issues as well when right. it comes to like their overall body or their overall mental health too. So I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's delivered the same way. Okay. I also have a question. Like when when did cuz like I don't understand I never saw this change in when people started accepting men for this like dad bod thing. I had like lately I've been seeing on Twitter. I've never seen that. A lot of people on Twitter, I've been seeing women on Twitter talk about like, oh, you know, I like a little chub. I like this. Mm-hmm. I like this. I like that. Blah, blah, blah. I've when, n- I have not seen that. When did that occur? Because in, in the past. It didn't occur on my timeline. Yeah, yeah, like in <laughs> the past. <laughs> Shit. It used to be like, oh, if you don't look like an athlete, it's a dub. Like if and, even, and even like and that. even that's not really true, bro. I feel like that's what people think, but in right. the at the end of the day, like any dude built anyhow the same way people talk about short men. I feel like that's like a thing about body positivity too. Like people have these standards, quote unquote, but who are they messing with in real life? You no, know what I'm saying? That's exactly. What I'm, that's the thing. Yeah. Exactly. That's the, yeah. And, and that's fine. Yeah. But that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the sh- the shame portion of it, mm-hmm. which is what the standards are. So it was like. For, okay, because like I I saw the 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 change where it was like oh for women you didn't really have to look like a model anymore, you need to be curvaceous and you know have a big butt have you know basically black features basically, and I don't understand where the change came where it was like for a man you can't like you could be short or you could be skinny or you could be you know very heavy set like when did that happen like there was there. For niggas, it was always you need to look athletic. Like you need right. to look mm-hmm. strong. You need to look tall, built, this, 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 this. But now people are trying to claim like it's like that, but it's really not. Because when you see the people that they're lusting over on the socials. Bro, that's what I'm saying people. though. Like people, people that lust, like social media is just like you can't really use that as a But that's where this shaming comes from. But that's what I'm that's saying. What I'm so saying. even then, the dudes that are fat shaming women the most on Twitter, like some of them be messing with heavy shorties. I mean, you know what I'm saying? True, At the we, end of the day. Talk, that, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about... You're saying that people shame people on social media and that there's this idea of what the standard is. Yes, but I'm, I'm saying, saying like when... Because like we saw... I'm saying that we saw a, a change in the women of what the standard is. I'm saying where did that change in the men go? Where's the Do you change? feel like you've seen I'm this change that, that he's talking about? Because I feel, I feel like I haven't really seen that for a minute. I've seen it like here and there, honestly. Let's like, discuss. Um, it's not just about like the athletic bill anymore. Right. Um, and I honestly, so, I so can't what is it? Really... What is it about now? Like, let's let's like, put me on game, man. I don't know if I, uh, I wouldn't say dad bod, like, <laughs> <laughs> but so um, what's 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 in now? What's popping? This is like the. Wrong what 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 ask, build is popping, man? Speak on behalf of the women everywhere. Of the <laughs> women's, women's of America. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, let's discuss it though. Nah. Um. Honestly, I think it's just more so coming to the terms with the fact that, like, at the end of the day, they're probably talking to you or in a relationship with someone who's very regular. Right. That's what that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, so as much and as I people say all this stuff, that's where it's on, coming from. I think people yeah. are just being a bit more real about it. But I feel right. as if, I feel as if the whole the whole switch or so I think it just became more apparent on social media, but I think it's always been a thing. Like I can remember like years back too, people were always with other types of people and they were over here like 
going on Twitter like rah 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 like oh yeah this guy has to be this 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 and this and that right. but they're over here crying over someone who's very regular right so I think that's so interesting that's just that's social media for you but yeah exactly okay and to kind of transition from that though too I think when we talk about body positivity the main thing that we think about is weight right but I kind of wanted to ask you guys too in terms of Especially as mm-hmm. black people, we're all black here, right? And I think we're all like different shades for the most part, I think. So I wanted to know from you guys too, is there a level of skin tone that plays into body positivity as well? Because I think what I've seen on social media a lot now is yeah. that light-skinned people are almost hated on social media. Yes. Wow. Like, like we are. now, rare darker-skinned breed. people are Wait, kind of... what? Oh, let's, rare, let's, let's rare, discuss. Rare breed. Let's discuss. Sorry, now, can you repeat that? So I wanted to understand <laughs> from you, do you guys feel like skin tone is a key component of this body positivity movement. No, no. Repeat, the light-skinned people are being hated. So I feel like Except as of, Chris I feel like as of now, light-skinned people, like, especially like, you know, in a lot of these ads, right? So let's say, you know, it's some ad for makeup or whatever and they have one black woman and she's light-skinned. Twitter's going to go crazy off of that and say, where are the dark-skinned women? Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. We're underrepresented. So I wanted yeah. to kind of know, That's does that... That's not hating light-skinned people. But I'm Whoa. saying, but I'm saying, oh no, let, let's, let's talk about it though. But That's I, I want to say like, does that factor into body positivity ad, as well? That's not inclusive okay. how like let's discuss it do y'all not know how this stuff works like, I, I don't hey, and, and everybody like, has to audition. you know I, I don't everybody know. has to audition for a position mm-hmm. so if the if the the are you referencing something particular like something specific? he just he just gave an example a commercial okay right? yeah like so i'm saying in that in that type of example i understand what you're saying that like okay let's say this brand has never shown uh, darker skinned individuals on a commercial, right? And they only are picking lighter skinned individuals. Mm. Right. Then yes, I will agree a thousand percent that it's like, yo, you're wilding. Like that's a lack of inclusive, you know, environments and stuff like that. But in the general sense, wh- I've seen what Joe is talking about, where it could just be anything. Like it could be literally anything, and then they'll just pick a lighter skinned person now. And it'll be like, oh, why does it have to be a light skin show? Mm-hmm. Why can't it be? A have you have you seen that too, though? Like, have you have you have you witnessed that? I think that that's interesting too because I think we're talking about complexion, but that also happens with weight as well. Mm-hmm. So, like, if there's like a super slim person wearing an outfit, it's like, oh, where are the plus size models? And I think it's like, where do you really really draw the line in terms of like what we're asking for? I guess. Well, that's like a difficult question to answer only because. Let's talk about it. Only because when it comes to. When it even when it just comes to race and it comes to like a darker skin bigger built woman right. compared to a lighter skin one right. I think again just the way the society is set up more people are going to gravitate more towards the light skin uh woman and then in into your comment about people being like up in arms about not seeing um either a dark skinned girl not seeing like a plus size girl. Again, I think with social media we've become so sensitive to certain things. Right. And we've be, yeah. we've become so easy to just be so um like affected by such small things Provoked. as well. Yeah. Provoked, yeah. Yeah. But when it comes to but I completely stand by the fact that like a darker skinned big woman would not be looked as as desired compared to a light skinned one. In today's do you agree? day and age I think of so, social yeah. media or like on commercials? I mean, they can kind of go hand in hand in a way, but I would say both. Because I, if you're talking about commercials, then I agree. Because Hollywood is a different right. It's a different entity. But when you're thinking social media, are you only thinking about your Twitter feed and like your, mm-hmm. your Instagram media, feed and your, your, you know, your timeline? Social media to me is not TV. TV, TV is different because TV is, is controlled and operated by different entities. No, I didn't say TV. I but said, are you I'm talking saying. about like your own like network of like what you, of what like you're seeing on your day to day timeline when you're referring to just social media? No, because I because you're say talking just about because the two things are you can't really compare the two if you're and that's if you're only talking about what you're seeing on your timeline as you're scrolling through versus. Hollywood, which is a completely different beast, a completely different demographic as well. Right, right, right. That's why I was asking. So the reason I was asking is because, um, you know, they they made they put out a statistic somewhere that said like basically social media is like the like the black caucus. Basically, they were like mm-hmm. they were like black people, black young black millennials, millennials mm-hmm. run, social, run media, social media, which is right? a fact though, man. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah, out, shout is, out, black Twitter, man. Which is basically <laughs> true. And like like you said, I mean, like if I if I was in you know. 
Middle Asian Twitter, I don't know, like China Twitter or something like that, my feed will probably look very different. Of course. Right. But you will see certain things that are popular or what or what have you. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was asking if you're talking about TV type stuff or like internet type stuff because they operate differently. Mm-hmm. I think that on TV, you're very right. I think that on social media, and I've said this before and they tried to kill me about it, but I was like being darker skin is the biggest trend of today. And people were like, oh my God. So you don't think that come trend. so you don't think that come from a place of self love? Because I feel like I mean there's a I think it, there's I a there's a there's a historical like thing. That. There's like a historical like kind of backing behind like why people didn't really like dark skinned people like that. No, so I now that, that dark skinned people are like I guess the wave. It's a like, trend. So right. so you don't think it's genuine? No, no, no. I think that it, Let's discuss the I, facts. It's a lot of like I did I think that almost everything starts off genuine. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that almost almost all of the movements and all of the trends of today or what have you start off genuine, like with okay. positivity and just trying to become inclusive and put everybody on the same level. But because of social media, um, you have the radicals that that take it to the extremes. To, to the extreme. Right. And and that's another reason why I agree that people have the right to to say their opinions and feelings because Joe asked a very good question earlier. He said, where do we draw the line? Right. If you give everyone the right to do everything all the time, which you have, which I, without saying something back, there is no line. That's, it, it just becomes complete anarchy. Everybody does exactly what they want to do all the time. There needs to be some type of line where somebody is going to check you and basically mm-hmm. be like, chill out. Right. Okay, this and, is inappropriate, or this is that, and that's why I think that um, because you know us growing up, right, light skin was in the wave, like the whole Chris Brown when he was younger, and like you know a lot of these like um, like Boris Kobojo and all these other people, uh, uh, the the dude from Barbershop with the green eyes, another light skin nigga, yeah, basically yeah, they were yeah. all like the the heat of the top. Now right. now it's like Idris and mm-hmm. you know like uh, different other. Uh, darker skinned males who are, or even women, you know, who are at like the the top of the top when it comes to what people are thinking is beautiful, which is great, but that's just part of life. You know, there's trends and then hopefully things tend to mellow out like over a period of time. Okay. And my question is based on that too. I kind of wanted to get from you though, Tiggy. Why do you think this whole movement do you think it's bad that light, dark skinned people are being placed ahead of light skinned people almost in terms of like i guess people really advocating for darker skinned people or are you okay with that in terms of like i guess cuz it's become well, a movement in itself right and i'm not okay with being divisive but i think that um being able to uplift darker skinned black women is something that always needs to be reiterated just because of the history and just because they're always being, you know, brought down. Right. So in terms of trying to divide, you know, divide them, I don't think that's necessarily the case that we should be going towards, but that's just naturally how it ends up being just because right. again, they're two, they're seen as two different groups of people. Right. But again, I feel as if it, it like I completely agree with the fact that we still need to continue to uplift our darker skin women as well, just because they they still aren't you know getting the love that they need as well. But I feel like it's reached a point low key on social media where like people will literally. But then again, like they social want ev- media they want and people say things, but people aren't really like backing up what they like say living. in real life. They are. They like Let's so social that. social media is a microorganism of life. And people try to say that it's not, but a lot of the many important And I, I agree with you on that. A lot of the many important movements have started and, and, and engrossed lately through social media. So you have a, a tweet, for instance, that will say, dark skinned niggas, like the little greater than signs, and nobody else. Like, that's it. And that joint will have, or let's, let's even make it even further. It'll say dark skinned niggas, and it'll say light skinned niggas. Mm-hmm. Or even let's take it even further. Like, you see a tweet that will say something like, nowadays, it'll be like, oh my God, what if my soulmate is light skinned? And then they put like the little disgust emoji. That joint will have legitimately almost 20 something thousand retweets, 100 something thousand likes. The, 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 
like the formula that Twitter works with, do you know how many views that is getting? Do you know how many mm -hmm. people are seeing that message? I'm trying to I'm trying to catch your point here. The point here is that she's saying like social media is kind of just like man, man, man. People are not doing that in real life. No, these are views and and basically. Uh, what was it called? Like what commercials? But when you step are, out of social media, when you step out the, of social media, you log out of your Twitter, you log out of your Instagram account, account, or whatever it may be. At the end of the day, the reality of a lot of dark-skinned women is that they're still facing a lot of prejudice as well. Okay, let's I let's mean, talk, let's talk about that. I want I want to hear this. I want to hear this point. So are. that's why I mean, life. but yeah, I get that. So that's what I mean when I'm saying that, like. When you kind of have to like separate the two in a way because again, people can say all this noise about uplifting black right. women as well or darker skinned women as well mm -hmm. when it comes to like their day to their day to day struggles and like them going into work or them going into for a job interview or anything like that. Yeah, again, the, like they're the reminded constantly like that, yeah. of their darker skin tone as right. well. Okay, but because they're and and then I get what you're saying because social media is right. not um, real life, but that. The same way that TV was not real life, mm -hmm. and yet the commercials and the things that are the propaganda that's being pushed towards you day in and day out, day in and day out. So you're saying you're going to develop an inherent bias. So you're saying so you're things. saying that you feel like social media and real life the same energy is kept in terms of glorifying darker skinned people. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is is that a lot of the thing people love to say like don't take social media lightly or like. You know, it's hard like, not to it, honestly. No, no, I mean, I, yeah. I get it. Like, don't I take it lightly or take it lightly. Dude. Don't they like they say, don't take social media lightly. Like, they'll be like, like a lot of people will tweet something that'd be like, yo, this is just me on media. Like, don't take it serious. Right. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's it's true for some people. And, though, but. And again, like I said, I get it. There, to everything, there's a balance. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but you can't just take it lightly in the sense that it doesn't matter because it actually does matter. Companies and corporations are using this yeah. thing for a reason. Right. There's a reason why people are making billions of well, millions of dollars off of social media and stuff like that. There is power in social media. Right. So when the propaganda is being shot at you in a certain type of way, like you said, I agree with you um, um, when you were saying like we shouldn't be divisive. You know, there's no need for me to put you down. You know, uh, to to lift myself up, right, especially. Right when half of the shit that you saying is not the reality like niggas be fronting on media all the time like it's right but at the same time like shit. that's what that's what we're discussing here though right the whole body positive movement is literally driven by social media like not i feel really. like i, I think i think it is do you think it is driven I by social was, media mm, i think it was like definitely amplified i feel There's like social, i feel like i feel like social media is where it low key started bro and then after that niggas was like all right like we're going to Put it on television, like you said. Social media and television are two different ball games, right? So I feel like it started out on social media, like you know, like Eni was saying, people are posting these pictures and stuff like that, trying to get you know love from whoever mm -hmm. to be accepted. But I feel like social media is like the root of it. You said it's not. What is then? You think like like what what is the root of the movement? In your opinion, either one of you guys can answer. I think I think that. I wouldn't say that. I would say the root of the movement came from. Um, I think that it was in TV. Like it was. It was really about. I didn't see any of that on TV. But that's the thing. That's that was the. That's what I'm saying. Like because there was not a lot of um, inclusiveness in TV. Right. A lot of, uh, you know, this whole thing kind of started, and it wasn't necessarily about social because social media has become such a big platform. I think that it's easier to show positivity mm. there. And then now companies are so scared because of everybody's sensitivity right. that, you know, they're really pushing that because media is now their marketing tool. Right. right. But before that, it was TV. TV was the marketing tool. Everything was the... Everything I don't know. I, I personally didn't see that on my TV, bro. Like, I mean, I guess that was your point, right? That, you know, I guess they use it and use media more as a marketing tool now, like social media at least, but... I don't think I saw any of that promoting body positivity anything. If anything, I saw a lot of, you know, Weight Watchers commercials where people were trying to get and they showed the biggest person and said, oh, look, look at this picture of me. You know, this was me three years ago, but then I started Weight Watchers and now I'm a, I'm a lot skinnier. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, when you're saying it started, are you saying it started because of social media? Or I think social media just on it. Social media, the, the like body positivity as I know it was driven by the timeline that I see, bro. Like. 
I think. I mean, I guess I could. I could agree. I think. Am I? Am I tripping? Like, I feel I, like. I kind of agree as well. Um, I don't think it necessarily started from there, but I think yeah. a lot of the issues that come with social media and body dysmorphia, I think, stem from social media, and I think from there, it was then used as a vehicle to then promote this movement like that think, was already, you know, in the works. Like, think about like I know we were discussing this, like models, for instance, right? Like these IG models that promote, like, you know, what I'm saying flat tummy tea and all this stuff before or after they get their body done that's what I'm, exactly that's the point so okay. they get in their bodies done right uh-huh. and this is so there's i feel like there's two sides of the spectrum right so there's people that are promoting fitness and you know the check-in lifestyle i know any has check-in shit heavy but like there's Go people that there's have people, you always been into fitness yeah i think that everybody should work out literally every <laughs> okay okay but but what i was saying though so i feel like there's two sides of the spectrum right so those people that are on the fitness side of body positivity so they're mm-hmm. saying being body positive means you are fit while other people are like you can be built however you want as long as you love you that's all that matters and the point that i'm making about like the the ig models though right i think that's so interesting though how like you know they're getting their bodies done and stuff like that and they're kind of pushing this image that is high key unattainable and they don't really reveal the fact that they're getting surgery done or even the people that are heavy and get lighter like bro right. Ari Ari just posted a picture talking about her ass was real yes I saw that and we were like what <laughs> it's like we all know that it's not so like, quickly to your point though about yeah. how um about how like body positivity can kind of be either like more on the fitness end or more of like loving yourself the way you are. Right. I think that if we kind of take another step into that and more so promote, because again, you can love yourself how you are, but if you're not in your healthiest form as well, that also isn't a form of self-love. Exactly. You know, so again, I think body positivity is also being able to incorporate healthier lifestyles within your life to be able to be a better person. And this, like it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to lose 15, 20 pounds, but if you're making small, you don't, you don't agree? No, no, no. I was just thinking that I had just told Joe this. Uh, no, no, no. Fin- finish, finish out your oh, garden. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but I think, again, that's where it, that's where it should stem from if you're looking at it from like fitness versus like, oh, just love yourself the way you are. Like love all your roles and all, you know, all of this. Yes, that's OK to completely Flaws do that. Flaws and all. Flaws and all. But make sure you're <laughs> taking those steps to actually be like a healthier person because right. at the end of the day, like you're making sure that like you're able to live a longer life or live a better life. And I think that's where the whole body positivity is supposed to really stem from. I got you. OK. What were you going to say, man? My man cheesing right now. A thousand percent. And we got the camera so we can really yes. see him cheesing. I agree. <laughs> One hundred thousand percent. I, I literally had told Joe this the other day because when he told me I was doing body, body positive, Joe and I talk about a lot of the topics that he had. Right, right, right. So uh, when he said we were doing body positivity, and I stated this earlier, that there's not a lot that people are going to say to be able to change my mind about okay. it because body positivity is really about self-esteem. That's really what it is. Do you have hmm. enough confidence and love for yourself, which is self-esteem, um, to accept who you are as a person? But that I think it's also be- self-care should also be incorporated in that as well. Okay. Yeah, that, that but- was the- Oh, oh, oh my oh. man was already—he was already getting there. <laughs> oh, sorry, he was already sorry. getting there. Sorry, oh, yeah. sorry, okay, sorry. okay. That was a lot. All right, let's, let's, so, let's talk about it. So, so to what she said, all right. um, it's 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 really about the self-esteem aspect, okay? Okay. okay. And finding um, non-maladaptive coping methods hmm. to deal with... Non-maladaptive coping methods. Come on, man. That sounded real, that sounded, that sounded, that sounded, that sounded real good off the... You know what I mean? I'm going to get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that part in the video. I like that. <laughs> nah, continue, continue. continue but yeah, it's continue, about though. finding methods that are healthy and helpful to keep you in that mind frame of I'm confident, I'm beautiful, I'm this, I'm okay. that. And that can be whatever you want it to be. I think I think that's what a lot of people don't think. Like you can be whatever you want to be. That's fine. Other people are gonna say whatever they want to say. You have to have the confidence to stand in that and what you want to be, right? Now, to what you were saying, the self-care part is very important. Now, if you want to be a certain type of way, that's great. But when it starts affecting your health, like legitimately through diagnosis, like you go to the doctor one day and the doctor says, oh, this is something you should be wary of, you Mm -hmm. know, or, oh, you you may have, you know, developed diabetes or glaucoma, whatever, you know, then 
I told this to Joe the other day. Same thing you said. Are you really loving yourself? Like, do you really have body positivity? But where do you, really do you draw the line? Yourself? But where do you draw the line, though, in terms of like, are you loving yourself? Right. So let's say two what people. You don't take up? care of your health. How? But check can this out. You love check this out, though, bro. So, so let's say there's somebody who goes to like any goes to gym. What damn near every day? I be seeing it on Instagram, right? Mm. So let's say you go to gym seven days a week, right? Mm -hmm. And, but I go to the gym four days a week. Does okay. that mean that you love yourself more than I do? Not no, at all. No, 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 no. Like, I want to understand, all. like, where do you draw because the line? Because, again, like, the journey as that. well, the, the journey when it comes to, like, your self-love or body positivity, it's very personal and it's very yeah. for you. So you can't, and that's, again, too, why people's opinions can't really matter as much because you're trying to curate this whole journey for yourself to make yourself better. What right. works for him may not work for you. Right. So, you. so for someone to kind of use someone's, journey as a benchmark for what body positivity should look like is definitely wrong and that's exactly. why i feel Which is as what a lot of people, people do. Yeah. have like this right they feel that they have this right to you know include their Comment. opinions and things like that right when people should honestly just take a step back and understand that like th this journey is very it's very personal right and again when it comes to self-care as well self-care looks different for so many different people and certain things work better for so many other people so when you're able to like take those Take a step back and one incorporate healthy routines for yourself, for the betterment of yourself. See what works and what doesn't. I think that's where we we can start to have a conversation more about. Okay, well, this is exactly what body positivity is. Right, but like I said, I feel like it's a slippery slope, right? Like no, I don't know. I still, no, I still, I, I still, think, I think no. Thing, I think it is though. Think the, about it. The thing How? is that I think I think that the thing that okay, so I agree with you on everything you be saying until you say that other people's opinions. Don't matter. So I they, mean, they, and, and the grand scheme of things, they don't, so, right? I mean, so they can the say what so they, they want. They don't, but they do. The reason, the reason I say they don't, but they do, is because, like I said earlier, everything okay. is a balance. Okay, I take into account the things that people say because they might have a point to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Right now, I have to take that in, internalize what they're saying, and base it upon what I want to be. Right, that's part of the whole confident, like the self confidence. Right, part. right. So, like, what you're saying has. It may matter, but at the end of the day, I'm going to make the final decision. So to answer your question, when you said, if I go seven days and you go four days a week, do I love myself more? No, because... Like, I what if go, I just legit don't want to go to the gym every day? The, but that's the thing, though. I can go seven days out of the week to the right, gym right. and hate myself, okay. and you can go three days and look better than me like, that's what i'm that's unquote, and that was her point is like unquote, how can you really comment on that you know what i'm saying so like that's that's what social media has done you know what i'm saying bro, 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 bro. so I because think, you post more check-in things than me i could be in the gym every day because i don't post it you know what i'm saying it, it, you know what i'm saying be evident it'll be evident body positivity was about what you see right People were shaming people because of what because they, what they saw. Right, right, right. So it would be evident in many and, things. And, Body positive, like if you're if you have true self confidence, the way you move is going to change. Not just like there are many people who uh, are heavier set individual individuals, but they move with an air of confidence to them. You know what I'm saying? Like they move like they they know where they are. They understand where they are. They want to be where they want to be. I remember one time I have a friend actually. I told him, because like I'm very gym oriented, like you said. So I told him, I was like, hey, bro, you like are right there. I was like, you're literally right there. I was like, you know, if you did this, 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 you could have this type of body type. He was like, I hear you, but I don't want to look like that. He was like, I just want, I, he was like, I like the way this is right now. I like to look like this. You know what I said? I said, bet. The thing is, like, is not that everyone. Simple? But that's her point, though. Like that. That's the thing. All right, and that's what I'm the. Like, not everyone. Not, not everyone. Like, no, what I mean is, not everyone is going to be like, okay, bet, and then just leave it at it. Right, and, and that's and that's true too. Yeah, and, and I think that's where, where like the issue of where like I was coming from in terms of okay, they, they're just still harping on this whole idea. I'm like, hey, just let people be, because again, and it, and also I think that like you having your self love journey or like your body positivity journey out there on a platform, you also risk the um, the chances of people being able to comment freely as well. Criticism, so you kind yeah. of have to like, you know balance. Yeah, you kinda of have to like choose, you know, choose your battle well in in that sense in that, you know, sense. I think that with everything that you do, you have to be able to know that there's going to be positives and negatives. Right. And mm -hmm. you have to accept everything that comes with that. So like how Joe said, for me, I post a lot of workout stuff. You know, I post a lot of stuff, actually. And, you know, it's funny. I'm actually studying to become a licensed personal trainer. 
people come and tell me stuff about my workouts. As yeah, man, I, I lift, man. Check in. Not even that. People just people tell me stuff Check about in, my workouts <laughs> as if I don't study it. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that is something I knew was going to happen. Right. I accept that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's and 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 that's the whole thing about the you know the standing in your truth, having like that self confidence and stuff right. like that. Y- you know that people are going to say things. You know it. You have to be okay with dealing with that. And other people and need that to that realization, learn. though, it's not always that easy for a lot of people. As I well. that's, a, that's a fact. Yeah. I understand that a thousand percent. And other people need to learn that once somebody, once you see that somebody is assured of themselves or something, you have to step back. The only time that I said that I would not step back is if, because, you know, I study psychology and stuff like that as well. That's like what my degrees are in. If if I see my man's that, just flexing, he said, I'm I'm trying, I'm being a I'm certified trainer and I got degrees in I psychology. See that Joe Flex on me then. starts doing, like I said, maladaptive coping methods that is leading towards something that patterns have shown lead mm-hmm. to certain things. Right. I will aggressively step in. Right, right. Because I mean that just makes sense. You're coming from a place exactly. of love. But you're coming from thing, a place though. where that's, you're you're his friend and you I care have. about him. Exactly. But that's the thing. I think that the whole body positivity thing sometimes has taken a step further to where it's like we're friends. And if he says something about me that I don't like, I'm gonna be like, Oh, you're not my friend no more because you don't care about And I, mean, I think like, that's I interesting too. Yeah. I, I've I've and seen that. I get what you're saying. Like if some random stranger came out and said something I mean, like I said, I'm going to take what they said and be like, mm, do I care? Do I not care? Mm-hmm. But if Joe says something to me, I'll be like, I would actually take the time to think about it. Right. Rather, other people, what I've seen with the extremists is that Joe would say something to me as a friend, for instance, and I turn it into the, oh, he's against me type of thing. Mm-hmm. And you, that's a problem. Do you think that that's your reality as well in terms of, I guess, how messages are delivered and kind of feeling attacked when people close to you, I guess, present critiques? Like do you do you see that too? Well, no, especially only because, in reference to your body, like you were saying. Only like I was because about. Um, the way my friends and I talk to one another, I always know it's coming from a place of love. Okay. And when it comes to body positivity and things of that sort, I usually don't put myself out there for anyone else outside of like my circle or my bubble to say anything. So I don't really have to like deal with that as much. Right. Okay. And I think that's an interesting interesting point too because I mean, like Eni was saying, right? He said that he has a heavier set homie and he said that he was cool with how his stomach looks right no he wasn't heavier set he was like he was I oh you said him, he's right there he could be this he, but he, he wasn't he was right there to the point of like being like solid muscular like he mm-hmm. could have had the whole six pack vibe rocking you know like one of those like fit like you know what what's the BMI for athletically fit like under under like 15 or something like he could have fit in that kind of description or something like that basically. okay and I was like, yo, if you just do this, 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 you can have this type of body type. And he was just like, I don't want it. And I think that's something like, that yeah. it's fair to say. I feel like that's part of body positivity, too. Like for me, for instance, right? Like I don't really care to be no ripped up dude. You know what I'm saying? As long yeah. as as long as my you know what I'm saying my cholesterol ain't crazy, blood mm-hmm. pressure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good. And that's, and that's the but, thing. Because I, I took you a, say? Oh, yeah. You no, no. Go ahead. Oh, so I took like a I took like an intro to feminism class in... Um, Flexing left and right. It's not flexing, bro. This is just. Oh, you went to Pitt as well. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. so I, I took a uh, shout out Pitt. You know, number one public university in the northeastern region. That is a flex. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, what's his name? I took a class and uh, they were talking about body positivity, right? Mm-hmm. And so the topic came up. You know, amongst the other things that deal with body positivity, the topic came up to be obesity, and this woman. Um, she basically got there and said, I don't feel like any person outside of your doctor or like for the first st- statement that she said was, I don't feel that any person should be able to comment on your, your physical appearance. <clears throat> so, you know, my dumbass, I rose my hand and was like, okay, so what is the point of a doctor? And she was like, oh, I mean, doctors are this, that, and the next thing, but you know, how can they tell you, like, you know you best. How can they tell you da 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 And I was like, because of their professional science, yeah. because of facts, mm-hmm. because of, because like they were talking about how 
why is obesity shown a certain type of way in books and things like that? And I was like, because that's what it fucking looks like. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when we talk about body positivity, there is a actual scientific factual portion of it that when you start looking a certain type of way, we should actually take the time out to be concerned about your of health. Of course. Right. You know what I mean? And you do, don't have to be okay with that. And do you feel that way too though? Like although you're not licensed to the to to I guess diagnose people mm-hmm. as not body positive or not like within those bounds of body positivity do you feel like you are, are you one of those people that thinks like yo you're not a doctor so you can't talk to me about this or is it kind of still what you were saying about it's coming from a place of love yeah i think that i don't think it necessarily has to be someone who's a physician to tell you about hey you're like not going down the right path um and then again i think it also what i was also like thinking about as well in terms of how we grew up with what exactly was acceptable and what wasn't right so like i'm like first generation american i grew up in a african household i go back and forth you know back home a lot as well and the way i view what is deemed acceptable is someone who has a bit more meat on them than someone who who's lighter who's like skinnier and when someone who is skinnier they're kind of like oh this person isn't eating this person doesn't look healthy and things of that nature so then when you're living right (laughs) exactly you know you have to have a bit of like meat on your you know right (laughs) right even the girls too you know it's like you know you have to have some weight on you and then you're stepping outside of that and you're going to school well at least for me i'm going to school and i'm going to like a predominantly like white area Mm -hmm. and you know white institutions and I'm being told a completely different um, narrative, and it's like, okay, well, now, what is like, what is supposed to be right, right. you know? Right. But for me, luckily, like, I've had people around me who, um, and again, I could also be privileged too because I, when someone looks at me, they don't think that I'm like big or like obese or anything like that as well. So right. I think that I also have some privilege in that sense too. Okay, interesting. Nah, but okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, We've had our points stated, but we can talk about this Mm -hmm. for years on years. We're going to talk about this on the timeline tonight. We're going to see somebody post something about something related to body positivity positivity tonight, I'm sure. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we've had Eni. We've had Tiggy on the show. We back. Season three, episode one, baby. I told you it's going to be the best season yet, and I guarantee that's going to be true. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, follow me boy on social media at Joe the Great. That's J O E T H E G R number eight, as well as my podcast page at J. A D E. Dot P-O-D. Thank you to my guests for coming out today. Course, we got more episodes. Pun your head top very, very soon, man. We out.